Last time we talked about git tag bit function. Today in this video, I'll be talking about sit tag bit function in WinCC C script. You can look at the HMI. I click this button stop and the motor operation has been stopped. I click start and the motor is started. So I'm what I'm doing here, I'm directly writing into the digital tags from HMI through WinCC C script, right? I click the button, the motor is stopped and vice versa. If you look at the hardware configuration of my Simmons PLC, well, here is the digital output card. Let's monitor the, pro the digital output card. Well, the output is high, right? I have set this digital signal from HMI using C script directly. Go to the runtime, click stop button, and the digital output bit is reset using C script. Let me monitor, it's low now, right? And whenever I click the button again, it is set in reset whenever I click this button, right? Actually, I have associated C script with this button that whenever I click this button, the digital output tag, right, will be set, will be set high. And to this button, I have associated this, the script, the C script, whenever I click this button, the digital output channel of the digital output card will be resetted or it will be set low all right so in this video i will be showing that so let me terminate the runtime project unlike the last video i have made some modifications to my hardware configuration i add a digital output card as well because i will be directly writing the digital output channel or the digital output tag of this output card through HMI. So let me go to the project, deactivate my project, open the graphics designer page. Let me delete whatever I have run here button number one i'll write start motor Set the font size, make it bold. Similarly, do the same for the stop button. Well, before doing that, let me add let me show you that, that I have added the tag into my tag management section of the WinCC. Go to the tag management. And let me show you the hardware configuration as well. The digital output card. Well, I have symbolized it, right? Q1 and that's the motor command. That is the motor well, command is interfaced with this digital output channel, Q4.0. Go to the, t similarly, at my input channel, I have two input signals, one for the local start and another for the local stop push button. I will be explaining the use of this a while later, right? 
go to the tag management section and I have entered it right let me enter it again I will name it as Q1 the data type is binary tag the connection is S7300 I have established under the MPI section and the output channel address is Q4.0 right that's it the digital tag has been updated in the tag management database of the WinCC go to the graphics designer here I will write the script now I will associate this the script to this button and the script would be whenever I click this button this digital tag is set high Q4.0 and whenever I click this button the Q4.0 is set low right Q4.0 so select this button go to the events mouse and associate C script to this mouse click right go to the internal functions tag set tag bit well select the tag that I'm going to set and that is Q1 Q4.0 right and the value of the tag has to be true whenever I click this button compile the project no errors and that's it the script now has been associated with this button right now do the inverse of this to another button that is a stop C action go to the internal functions tag set tag bit select the tag that I am going to set low and the value has to be false right very simple the set tag bit function let me explain its prototype set tag bit as the name of the function that I'm calling from my script after uh, this function has been called from the button click set tag bit q1 is the name of the tag and the value that I'm going to assign to this tag is false right so whenever I click this button this function C script is called and whatever I have written in this C script would be executed and in this case I have written set tag bit to uh, set tag bit and the value of the key one q1 has to be low very simple now save my settings for further demonstration I will uh, display the status of the motor right this is my circle go to the properties on this circle global color scheme has to be low in order for this circle to show its true colors well in the background color I will associate the tag and that is dynamic dialog boolean tag q1 and whenever q1 is high it will be green and whenever the Q1 is low it will be red and write the text motor operation
save my changes now I'll go to runtime activate my project go to the page one now the digital output signal is low go to the hardware configuration monitor the status it is low right q1 is low and uh, remember my project is in the simulator right i have simulated the project you can do the same for physical P uh, plc as well no big deal go to the runtime start the project sorry start the motor and monitor the status of the digital output card it has been set and whenever I click this button well the digital bit the output bit would be set low right so all this is doing I, I'm doing for, from HMI directly and I'm accomplishing this task through WinCC C script right set tag bit actually whenever I click this button the, the tag is set high and whenever I click this one the tag is set low very simple I think right so there's about uh, writing tags directly from uh, HMI graphics runtime HMI right so there's all about the C script set tag bit function if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section Bye for now. See you in the next video.